Hi, this is Liza from Digging Cat Homestead with a little prelude for you. When we were capturing footage, we were in a hurry because it was going to rain. And so we forgot to acknowledge people who helped us put this greenhouse together. Big shout out to Roberto and Lucy, my parents, who were an integral part of the greenhouse build team. So thanks, Ma and Pa, for helping us put this thing together. This is going to be a game changer for us this winter. Hello and welcome back to Digging Cat Homestead. I'm Lawrence W. Moore with my wife Liza Sahito on the camera. We're going to finish our tour in the next couple weeks of the different areas of interest on our land that we've been uh, kind of putting some work into. This is an area where we decided to build a greenhouse. As some of you know from seeing the previous episodes, we're in Climate Zone 8B. We're in North Florida and even though we have some plenty hot summers um, in the winters it can get a little bit cold um, for a few days at a time it'll drop below freezing now and then in the winters and so those plants that can't go below freezing they need to be preserved in some way and um, that's why we have this greenhouse here we build it on a space on our property where there's plenty of clearance that's pretty much full sunlight on this area We've tried in the past the hoop house approach with, um, you know, the PE covers and uh, wind would just give us too much trouble with those. And it just wouldn't, it just didn't hold up for us um, last winter when we tried it. So we got this and uh, basically aluminum frame and solid panels here. These panels basically slide into place and are kind of like held in by ridges, but that's not quite enough. The weather stripping helps hold them better and of course seal it up better. Its bottom frame is set in the ground with gravel around it, so this shouldn't be moving too easily, at least not with any kind of regular windy thunderstorm or things like that. So it's basically at the point where we're done with the build we have uh, the doors propped up over here we haven't closed them yet and in the back we left one panel off we're going to make that into a hinge system where basically we can open and close that section so that like some days there in the summer you can open the doors open that so you get good airflow in the summer and stuff when you need it we have true ground here um, so what we're going to do is some of the tropical plants that we have some of the trees we're going to plant them in here and just keep them well pruned uh, we have varieties of trees like um, what is it guava guava guanabana mangoes citrus um, but basically we have some of those trees and then we have some smaller plants we'll put in here we're going to put our aloes in here because our aloes usually do fine except for last winter <laughs> and so we need to kind of um, preserve them so you hopefully next week we'll have the plants planted in here basically um, if you've seen my tree planting video from last week I basically am going to use an auger to drill holes in the ground to plant the plants and we can use the auger as well as a pick in combination maybe to pull out the grassy area over here but right now I'm feeling mostly, you know, just soil here. Now this is a sandy soil, so we're going to put bone meal in and maybe some other soil mix as well as some of our own uh, soil that we've been making with our composter, all, um, you know, plant-based compost. And we're going to see how that works and we'll keep you posted. We are at another spot in Digging Cat Homestead. This area is at the back end of the Hoop House garden area, which we've shown a few bit videos back. This is something I've added uh, in the last week. This is like a frame for a tent cover. You know, the PE has been taken off, but it went on some of our raised beds, kind of like this tent bed thing to do a little bit of greenhousing and so forth. I mean, those covers kind of worn down over these past two years. The material, the rest of the cover was made out of the PE, kind of like seemed to dissolve on it or something. Yeah. 
and so um, it's like that's not going to greenhouse very much anymore. Um, so I decided, well, let's repurpose these frames at least. And so I was able to kind of arrange them in, as almost like a jungle gym. And then I took uh, these um, tomato cages. What I did is I unfolded them and just zip tied them to this frame that I made. And so this is going to be for growing peas and beans. And so um, basically they'll grow up the one side of each of these structures, including the one in the middle there. And then on the right side, or the uh, sunrise side, um, in one month where the planting calendar says to do it, I'm going to plant runner beans. We just started June, so they list July as the month to do runner beans to plant them. So we're going to have them come up the right side. So we'll have peas coming up this side, cow peas, they're a summer pea variety. And then on the right side, uh, the runner beans. Or supposedly you can combine peas and runner beans, um, but from where I read, it's usually done on, you know, like an apex frame, one side and then the other. Now these are a bit tall, so I don't know if the peas or the runner beans will get all the way to the top of of these well this one especially it's taller but we'll see what happens so we wanted to let you know that this is another project we're running and then you'll be able to see the results as they come in so in any case uh, thank you for joining us this week next week uh, we'll show you the finished greenhouse and any progress that we've made on this or anything that seems kind of like uh, you know, worth noting about our progress with the garden. Uh, we'll definitely have a walkthrough episode. Uh, if it's not part of next week's, it'll be after. Uh, we also still have to show you our front apothecary beds, which also have some things that are more than just herbs growing there, too. Um, so we'll show you some of those front beds we have that are just open to full sun. Um, so, yeah, there's still a few more places to show. Oh, so the sugar canes. My wife is just pointing. She really likes her sugar canes. We want, we want to have our own uh, sugar for fermentation, and we want to make rum. <sighs> okay, so, um, all right, but thank you for joining us. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video, anything you can do to help us out a little bit here. We're uh, a young you know beginning channel we need all the help we can get uh also check out liza sahito's um psyche electro acoustic opera company some of her uh, cigar box guitar building as well as other um electronics and audio and multimedia art and i also have the wayfarer project all these channels are in the featured channel section so you can check them out and see what other things we do thank you for joining us and take care